What is up, YouTube? Welcome to Soccer Wipe. Another video. Today we are going to go over the Supreme Droplets Week 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Okay, I don't really know which week it is, but it is a week of Supreme. It drops tomorrow, and we are going to go over it today. Now, I'm not going to lie. I'm actually super excited, and I will also say, I warn you guys, like, when I go over the lookbook pieces, I need to warn you guys about two things. First of all, the audio is kind of shit. It sounds like I'm speaking through a fucking headphone thing, microphone thing. Uh, a headphone? He headphone? Like a microphone or through a freaking can or something. It's just a really loud echo because I'm in a huge room. Not really huge, but like a bigger room with nothing on the walls. Nothing to really protect from reverb or anything like that. So it's just, you're going to hear a lot of echo, echo, echo. And on top of that, I was extremely exhausted. This weekend has been crazy, but honestly... I'm so excited, man. Like, this weekend ended and I just have so many things coming up. So much, like, content creation. So many different, like, content ideas. And some content that you guys might not even like. But I'm just really excited, man. Like, thinking about different things that I want to do on this channel. Like, I don't know, dude. I'm fucking excited. I'm super gassed to do some more shit. And I'm really excited, like, once things slow down after the holidays. And I have more time to create some content that I have in mind. And, uh... Yeah, man, hopefully you guys like the videos. Thank you to each and every one of you guys that support me. Everyone that likes the videos, comments on these videos. Like, seriously, I would be nothing without you guys. Like, I cannot stress that enough. I know a lot of people thank their subscribers, but, like, genuinely, I would be fucking nothing without each and every one of you. So thank you so fucking much. Every single person who supports me, even if you just watch the videos and you don't like and you don't comment, obviously likes and comments help the channel grow, but thank you for even fucking taking the time out of your day to watch me. Like, I'm a fucking nobody. I just... I need to stress that, yo, because I've had a lot of opportunities, and I'm just so fucking grateful for everything that I have. Without these opportunities, I wouldn't be able to provide for my family. I wouldn't be able to do fucking shit. Like, I would literally be nothing. Like, I don't deserve any of this, so thank you so much to each and every one of you. I, I don't want to keep saying thank you, but I just, I'm so grateful right now, and I just feel like so much stuff has been happening. Damn. And of course, you already know we're going to go over all these dropless items on my Instagram. I'm going to get your guys' opinions, so I'll do some polls. Make sure you follow me on there. I'm telling you, the content is fire. I'm going to be in class in about, let me see, uh, according to my watch, I got to be there in about 15 minutes. It's a rolling, not a stop. Watch shit, don't never stop. Anyways, um, yeah, so I got to be in class in about 15 minutes, and uh, I'll probably be in class editing pictures and not listening and... Trying not to fail. But anyways, I'm just kidding. Right now I have 4-0. But I'm going to try to get all those posted today. So make sure you follow me on Instagram. Join on the polls and go like the pictures. Go support all the content. I appreciate all you guys. I need to really stop saying thank you. I'm just so fucking grateful today. Like, today is a good-ass day. Okay, so this is a Levi's collaboration. Although I'm still going to consider this probably the worst week ever, I must say... I'm actually vibing with this Levi's collaboration. I think it's sick. It's nothing over the top. It's nothing like overly branded. I love the different color combinations. I wish they would have done a couple more, to be honest, because I feel like, like, I don't know. I like the blue and the orange. I like the pink and the green, the black and the black. I like, I'm normally an all black kind of guy, but with this particular piece, I wish they would have just done something a little more experimental and done another colorway, because I really like the two colors. I like how you can wear the pink jacket and have the green collar, or you can wear the green jacket and have the pink denim collar. And same with the blue jacket. You can have the blue denim with the orange nylon collar or the orange nylon with the blue denim collar. It looks really dope. I think the blue one's a little bit more wearable in my opinion, but I don't know which colorway I will go for, probably the pink. And I think this will be a piece that I will actually be going for because there's not really much from the lookbook that I want. I think the lookbook is trash. That being said, I will say this is one of my favorite collaborations this year and I normally do not look forward to the Levi collaboration. In fact, the Levi's collaboration I don't think has been good in like four or five years. This collaboration was really sick. I really like the denim quality on this. There's no real branding on it. You have the Supreme branding on the inside right there, but this is the last Levi's collaboration that I was really vibing with. And even then, it's like pretty simple. It's nothing crazy, nothing over the top. I like that this one's a little bit more loud and still like really sick. The only real branding is the Supreme Arc logo on the left chesticle or breasts and just overall I love these pieces. However, I will be passing on the coveralls. I don't know if the coveralls are reversible like the coats, but um, yeah, Supreme, you killed it with this collab. Good job. Now we do not have the official images for the t-shirt yet. However, we are getting a little surprise. <laughs> Excuse me. A surprise two-tone jacket with a little box logo on top. I like this jacket. I don't really care about the box logo. I do hope it's embroidered, but I will say I like the vintage look of this piece. Like, you look at the little paneling, the little stripe on the hood. Like, it looks like a sick vintage style piece. That could, however, just be the photos because the photos are, like, somewhat low res. But in my opinion... I think this piece kind of goes. I'll probably cop this as a personal. I don't really plan on reselling it. Retail will be 158 but if you guys don't know, usually the surprise items don't really resell for that much. This could be different. It does have a box logo, but there have been tons of other pieces in the past that have dropped 
that have been really hyped when they dropped. They sold out really fast and then they didn't have resale. I think that's just because there's no way to look back at those pieces or catalog or archive those pieces. So they just kind of get lost in the world of Supreme. But I do think this jacket is sick and I'm glad that we got these images because honestly this lookbook is one of the most trash lookbooks. I've like the trash drop list look trash lookbook dropless whatever of all times there's just nothing really from this dropless that i like the accessories are weak the jackets are weak the hoodies are like yeah the only real thing is the warm-up pants and I, I don't know just nothing from this week really like grabs my attention except for the levi's collaboration and this two-tone jacket so we'll see what's good now i was gonna post this yesterday and i could have really posted that yesterday and then made this its own separate video but i just didn't really want to do that i don't like doing that unless it's like a really hyped collaboration and honestly like yesterday Right when I was about to post, they dropped the official images for the Supreme Levi's collection, and I was like, I, I don't know. I just didn't want to do that. I didn't feel comfortable dropping that video without discussing the Supreme Levi's collaboration, so yeah. Like I said earlier, I apologize for the echo, and I apologize for being so tired throughout the rest of this video, but hopefully you guys enjoy. And now let's travel back in time, one day ago, in Toronto. Well, what is up YouTube? Welcome to yet another video where we need to discuss this week's Supreme Drop. Now, I believe we have all the images except for one piece, which is the 1-8 in Stormy Tee. Oh, also the Supreme Levi's Quilt and Reversible Trucker Jacket. It's kind of interesting that people are voting up or down on these on Supreme Community when we don't even have official images yet. I don't know how they're voting, but regardless, they have a Supreme Levi's Quilt and Reversible Trucker Jacket and a Supreme Levi's Coveralls cover coveralls listed my spectacles are dirty but regardless anyways getting into the first piece discussing this jacket we have the quilted studded leather jacket this piece it seems like a lot of people are hating on for me personally i actually like it i think this piece goes stupid hard i think it's sick as fuck i don't know if i'm going to acquire it just because i kind of want the uh like paneled leather jacket they're dropping but I think it's sick in almost every color. I'm not as much of a fan of like the peanut butter one or whatever you want to call that. But that forest green, that black, I think both those are so fucking dope. I love the quilted pattern. I love the little studs throughout. I just think it's a sick leather jacket. I'm kind of surprised that many people hate it. Like it is probably the most hated item on here. I would say it's between that and the flannel zip up. But even then, like the flannel zip up, it has half the amount of likes, but it also has half the amount of dislikes. So I don't know. Those are like both equally hated. Now that's it for jackets. However, we do have some hoodies. We have the bleached zip up sweatshirt and they also have a matching sweat pant to go with that. I think these actually look pretty sick but it does kind of look like some Yeezy season type shit. Speaking of Yeezy season, I have a raffle going on for some Yeezys. For those of you guys that don't know, my mother actually was diagnosed with breast cancer, so I'm doing a little raffle to raise money for her. Everyone who enters the raffle, just know all that money will go to my mother, so thank you guys ahead of time. I'm gonna leave a link to that down in the description below. It's gonna be the top link in the description, so please click that link and then go donate. It does help your boy out. Anyways, I don't wanna talk too much about that because I'm gonna get all emotional with you guys, and honestly, I'm way too tired to deal with that. But yeah, the bleach zip up sweatshirt and sweatpant, I think is pretty sick. In terms of colorways, I think I like the green, the red, and the blue more than the black, but I'm also kind of curious how these look in person compared compared to in pictures. In pictures, they obviously look really soft, and I don't, I just feel like the pictures might look a little bit better than what it looks like in person. I'm also not a huge fan of Supreme zip-up hoodies just because like that stiff material in a zip-up just isn't quite as nice in my opinion. They are gonna be dropping some hoodies as well. They got this paneled, paneled hooded sweatshirt. It comes in a plethora of colors and they all have stripes going down the sleeves except for of course the black one, which I believe they are obviously separate panels because it says paneled. So uh, I'm safely assuming that that's what that is. And then on the back it says Supreme. I'm not quite sure if that's Tackle Twill or if that's just printed on there. Actually, let me take a quick second, go to Supreme New York and just double check. Wow, I'm glad I checked, I'm wrong. First of all, it's not even Tackle Twill, it's actually uh, like a pleak lettering. So it looks like it's Chanel letters. Wow, that's actually kind of sick, I'm not gonna lie. I will say I'm not a big fan of these colorways with the Chanel lettering. I think my favorite of all of them would be either this purple and turquoise or just the all black. I think the all black is pretty freaking clean. Those Chanel letters look sick. Oh, that's so much harder to me. I think it's so much sicker when it's embroidered. Like I know that's a lot more work and I know it's a lot more expensive, but I like when brands take that extra step. Honestly, it's a piece that I'm actually kind of considering now. I was not even thinking about acquiring that piece really until I saw that that was 
actual like Chanel letters as opposed to being printed. But anyways, on to the next piece. We have the long sleeve pocket tee. Um, I'm not gonna cop these. They're gonna be a little bit more expensive. I'm not a big fan of long sleeves and yeah, the only color that I really can see doing anything or being worth anything is that like city camo color, which even then I don't see it really being worth much. I just see people doing full camo fit picks in it. Obviously they did a box logo in the same colorway, which is why I'm assuming that it could potentially be worth a little bit more than the others. But, I don't know, I think they're all kind of dead. Now the piece that by far is the most copable, the must have of this drop is the warm up pants. Well, okay, maybe the t-shirt, but the warm pants always do really well. As you guys know, Supreme drops these every single season in a plethora of colors and they sell out every single season. It's just a really popular pant. It doesn't really fit that great if I'm being honest, but they always drop in different colors that people feel the need to get and they always sell out relatively quickly. I will say Supreme has been doing more in terms of production numbers, so I'm not quite sure how many they produced, so be warned, I'm not gonna say like for sure go cop these, they'll be worth something because they may or may not be. As for the color that I'm gonna be going for, I believe either the purple, the creme de la cremes, maybe the reds, but I, I think I'm gonna be between the purple or the creme de la cremes, maybe even the blacks, honestly. I'm not quite sure, but I will be acquiring one of them, of course. Now we do have the PK short sleeve Henley. It's a Henley, it's trash. I don't really have anything against them, I just feel like they usually look awkward on me. I will say I did kind of go through like a Henley phase where I was rocking with the Henleys open, you know, show off a little bit of tattoos and shit. But um, yeah, overall I'm just, I don't normally rock with them. And, this is nothing special to me, so I will not be acquiring this Henley in particular. Now, another one of the more disliked items is this zip-up flannel. I'm not quite sure why, to be honest. I mean, like, it's nothing crazy. Maybe people just don't like this pattern, because this is the pattern that is on that flannel, but I, I don't hate it that, I don't know, I just don't think it's that bad. Honestly, that white one's kind of nice. But a lot of people hate this piece. Like, this piece basically has the same dislike to like ratio as the quilted set of leather jacket, so I'm kind of surprised, but, um, yeah, I don't know. It's, it's nothing crazy, but I don't really hate it either. Now, last but not least, we have the hats and beanies, and then, of course, the accessories. So with the hats, we have the performance six panel. This piece, I'm not a fan. But then again, when am I ever a fan of their hats? This is going to be a nylon hat, so beware of that. That's going to kind of affect how it fits and how it feels on your dome piece. They have the clear patch camp cap. Uh, I'm indifferent to this piece. It's nothing crazy. It's nothing, like, special, but... Yeah, I, I don't hate it either. As you guys know, I'm not a big fan of the way camp caps fit, but overall, I, I still don't hate the design or the look of it. Now, this piece on the other hand, this ugly ass alien beanie, I absolutely despise. This thing is hideous. They're doing like hoodies and a bunch of other things with this graphic on it. It's trash, I hate it, it's despicable, it's gross. But, this beanie, the script beanie that we actually, we thought was gonna drop last week, I think these are pretty nice. I like the script logo a lot. I actually have the hoodie. However, I will not be copying the beanie, and the only reason for that is because these are not loose gauge beanies. A lot of people ask me what loose gauge is. I wish I had an example on me. Maybe I'll show you guys in the near future for those of you guys that don't know. But loose gauge beanies, basically, it, it's kind of like has more of like that European style where they're a little bit shorter, they're not quite as long, and also the knit doesn't stretch quite as much. So it just, I don't know, to me they fit a lot better. And then you don't ever have that like condom bunching up thing that you get on beanies with at least other beanies, so yeah. Loose gauge beanies are the best. Now all we have are the accessories, and the accessories this week are absolutely garbage. We have the Supreme Kawiko Owl Sport Ballpoint Pen. I'm embarrassed to say that I have the pencil. I just unboxed it recently, so I'm gonna do a video on that shortly, but yeah, just thinking about the fact that I spent 70 or $80 on that damn pencil. Really, I just kinda have a bubble in my stomach because I have to burp and yawn. But we're just gonna pretend I'm crying. Oh my god. That's sad. No, but in all seriousness, it's a really short pen. It is a quality pencil that I bought, and these are quality pens. And I believe the price is actually like $20 cheaper than that normally. So these are already really overpriced expensive pencils or pens before the Supreme branding. That being said, still not worth it. Now the Supreme Hon Honer, 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 Melodica, kind of fire. Um, I'm not quite sure exactly what it does. Let me look up Honer Melodica. I think it's kind of like a trumpet, maybe. I don't know. You blow it and you pl play it at the same time. Harmonica, trumpet thing. I don't, that's that's really weird. Anyways, uh, my overall opinion this week is that it is actually trash. Like, this is one of the worst weeks for sure. There's a couple pieces that I like, but the pieces that I like, for example, are like the quilted jacket that aren't really anything crazy or special. Uh, the more pants, I guess, are kind of decent. 
Uh, but overall, there's like nothing good this week. There's nothing like great that I absolutely have to have. And for me, I expect Supreme to drop trash every week. Like they drop a bunch of fire, they drop a bunch of trash. It just happens every week. But if there's a week where there's literally nothing that I care about acquiring, then I just feel like it's just, it's just a shitty week. If I just slept in Thursday, I could really care less. There's nothing I really care about. So, uh, yeah, that's it.